I told y'all before, my parents had gotten divorced a few years ago, so I do understand what the traumas and traumas that you go through. everyone how are you you already know who this is this can be the agent slash investor how y'all doing with this video that we're going to talk about is of course um five uh, material items that couples fight over when it comes to a divorce um to be honest with you i can't remember if i did the top five or whatever the case may be if i did and if you already seen it and it's redundant, I do apologize, but I told y'all before, my parents had gotten divorced a few years ago, so I do understand what the traumas and triggers that can go on. I 100% can get it, even though I'm not married, but I was there through the whole entire process. Even though I didn't sell their home, but I still understand what a couple will go through so the top five material things that couples fight over the most and yes have your um divorce attorney or a lawyer there to help you and guide you through this but the top five things is of course money um a home children slash pets um automobiles appliances and equipment which by the way to be honest with you i don't think appliances and equipment is that important but it just depends on couple from couple i know automobiles is important the most and things that belongs to the other spouse by the way if you hear my kids i do apologize i was really trying to do this when they both were asleep or when she was asleep so i do apologize uh, when it comes to money, of course, most spouses do not know what the other spouse is making or how much they're making. If they got a, a secret banking account or offshore banking account, if they stash money somewhere, or if they or if both spouses share a banking account, then a spouse may end up changing a bank number just so that or what pin code number just so that way the other spouse can't withdraw none of the money i don't know but it can happen so with it being said please keep in mind that always uh when it comes to your divorce attorney or lawyer um make copies of all your re related bank statements insurance policies retire retirement annuities and tax returns that can be cri crippling of course for either party especially if one of the parties don't make enough money to finance anything i do apologize that's my baby girl um she wants to make her interest in the video but and a spouse may take certain desperate measures to sell or liquidate all of your joint assets for cash in an attempt to get out of a financial trouble which is that can happen um reaching a financial settlement very often a spouse will argue that they are unable to provide adequate child maintenance which is i when i read or see child maintenance in my head i think of child support but i'm not 100 percent 100 percent sure because i'm not a divorce attorney but claiming that you were unaware of your family finances won't help you when you're really in for a separation so please understand what debts you have bought into the marriage prime example could be a student loan and what debts is still yours when you are separated prime example could be car repayments um always before um always try to get your ducks in a row talk to your divorce attorney or lawyer or whatever the case may be so that way before that one particular spouse change all the pin numbers and stuff and liquidate everything as fast as possible talk to your divorce attorney so that way nothing won't get erratic too fast the next part which is this would be my specialty is the home um, a family home is increasingly viewed as being a major financial drain. How do I know? Y'all going to hear me say it from the top of my lungs in each and every video when I'm talking about divorce. My parents went through the same exact thing. It was a financial burden to both. Even though my parents will kill me for putting their business out there, but this just shows what I know and what potentially could happen and how as if you choose me as a real estate agent how we can maneuver through this and how i could get both parties to work together even though i was still trying to get my license at that time frame when my parents were going through their divorce um 
sometimes that spouse may not pay the mortgage on purposely they will sometimes will sit there and let the house go let it fall apart let the house do whatever trust and believe i was in that situation with my parents so i seen it so i understand but there are emotional attachments that comes to the house one spouse which is i don't think either my parents was like this but it can happen as far as one spouse can be emotionally attached to the home because that is a family home where you built everything for you if you got pets your pets or if you got children for your children to have and pass on and enjoy so with that being said one party would need to buy the other party out I don't know what states do what, but I do know in the state of Virginia and what my parents was going through, it was called um, community property. So no matter what, they had to buy, one of them had to buy the other one out That if, if that one spouse wanted to keep the property or they had to agree to sell it or something, but it had to become a mutual um, agreement. Um, if there are no children involved when it comes to um, considering selling the house, then both parties can sell the house and they can cut their losses and keep it going from there. And that's that. Um, going from shared living expenses to supporting oneself on your own in a waking divorce is costly and it is irritating and it is irritable for both spouses. As I stated before, parents went through this. And if my parents is watching, please don't kill me. Children's and pets. The biggest mistake ever when it comes to the divorce is, of course, children's and pets. Most people nowadays especially don't have children. They have pets. So they got to try to do, like, special visitation rights of who get the cat on what day, who get the dog the next day or whatever the case, who will take it to the vet, who do what, blah, 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 blah. Same thing with children. When it comes to children, children are stuck in the middle. Now, even though me and my brother were the elder siblings, of course, it didn't really matter because we were the adults. But the person that mattered the most in my parents' situation was my baby sister. At that time frame, when my parents was officially divorced, like paperwork, signed, house sold, and everything was on my sister graduation day when she graduated from high school, which is she was 17 years old when she graduated from high school. But my parents had dragged it out for like a good, and I could be wrong, but for me, it felt like 10 years that they dragged it out. So we're talking, my sister had to be six or seven years old at the most when all of this first really started. And then by the time she got to high school, that's when they really got the ball rolling. But enough about that. When it consider with going through a divorce, especially like I stated before, when it comes to a family home, you got to think about the children. What, um, first of all, is how old the child is for one, um, their psyche, how the way they can handle the whole situation with nine times out of 10, even if they are children or adult children, they cannot handle that type of situation because you're splitting up a family. Not only that, you also got to think about, um, appropriate needs to take in consideration, sticking to a new schedule of routine will take a minute for a child to get into, especially when it comes to a new environment. So when it comes to that, and one of my biggest things that I am trying to um, not operate, but try to network with different people as far as if you contact me or want to work with me when it comes to divorce, when it comes to like the real estate part of it, because that's my forte of what I want to do is the real estate part of it. I will try to recommend or ask you like, hey, even if you're not trying to sell your home or you're not trying to purchase a home at the moment, do you need a therapist, especially for your children? Give me one second. The next thing would be automobiles, appliances, equipment, and tools. Now, the way how I look at it when it comes to this stuff, um, 
I, in my personal opinion, but I'm not married, so I would not 100% know. When it comes to like automobiles, appliances, equipment, and tools, I don't find that very important as far as couples fighting, but it can be important for whatever spouse is going through what, especially automobiles per se. I'll take the automobiles and put it towards the house, but as far as with appliances, equipment, and tools, in my opinion, I don't find that very important, but... For some spouses, for some married spouses, they do find it important because it's like, hey, I bought you that toaster 10 years ago. I need that toaster back. Or, hey, I bought you that boat on our honeymoon. You can't take that boat with you, et cetera, et cetera, what comes hey. along with it. Um, it could be any other type of antiques, pieces of furniture, sentimental pieces of jewelry, vintage cars, or cheap or expensive, unique or useful share items that was giving to the spouse that now that spouse went back because they are getting divorced once again please talk to a divorce attorney or lawyer that will help you about that um the next one is things that belong to the other spouse um things that belong to the other spouse it could be uh what things I would say things that the spouse had came into the marriage before they got married, like a car, children, animals, pets, um, something of that nature. I feel like that goes right back to automobiles and appliances and equipment and tools. That's something that you would have to talk to your divorce attorney about as far as for that. But as I stated before, that's not part of my forte, but I want to give you like the top five things that a divorce, I mean, what spouses go through when it comes to a divorce. Okay, I'm back at it. Like I said before, I got a baby girl that gets up like every 20, 30 minutes. It is so hard to try to create any type of video. But those were my top five things that I have found as far as what divorcees go through. Um, as I stated before, I do apologize for me keep stopping in the videos. Got a brand new newborn, so I'm trying to work around her and her schedule. But if I was rambling, I do apologize. But hey, you on my YouTube channel. I like to talk. I'm just saying. But anywho, I am Kennedy, the agent slash investor. If you and your family is looking to purchase or sell a home that is not even going through a divorce, I am here to help. In the state of Virginia, 757 or the seven cities of what we call it, of course. But if you are going through a divorce, and I do apologize, if you are going through a divorce, still reach out to me and I can still help you out as far as real estate. And even if it's not about real estate and you just need help with something else, I have different tools and different people that I network every day. So just reach out to me. Telephone number is 757-447-0666. Or you can just Google me. I'll put everything in the description box. As per huge, I am Kennedy, the agent slash investor. And I cannot wait to work with you and your family soon. Talk to you later. Bye. Sorry about that. As I told y'all before, I hate iPhones. They don't even have a pause button up here. I can't work an iPhone if it saved my life. Somebody, anybody, get me a Samsung, Android, new version, Z Fold. That's what I want. I'm off with my rent. I'm going to stop. Had to get my baby girl, calm her down, back into the